Hey guys, this will just be a quick guide on Celeste Advanced Movement Tech, so all the tech that the game doesn't really explain. Before we get started in the bottom left, you can see my controls. So WASD is for movement, as you'd expect. J is jump, K is dash, L is grab. So first up, I'll explain all the dash mechanics, because they are the most useful and the most important. So the first thing here is the dash cancel, which is you do a dash and then a jump, and you will have your dash momentum for that jump. Next up is the hyper dash, which is the exact same thing, but on top of that you also hold down. So the difference between a normal dash cancel and a hyper dash is a dash cancel gives you more height, but a hyper dash gives you more speed. So next up we have this thing we have been calling wave dash. But basically I'll do a hyper dash but from the air, so I'll jump up and then diagonally dash into the ground and then jump. So the reason why that is useful is because it's easier to keep your dash in the air with a wave dash. But it's still conceptually the same as a hyper dash, you just do it from, from the air. So this is where I'd like to get into how the dash refill works, because that one will make sense why the wave dash is easier at refilling your dash. So there's two conditions that have to be met for you to regain your dash. The first one is the obvious one, you have to be grounded to regain your dash. So you'll see me regain my dash once I hit the ground, as you'd expect. But there's a second condition that has to be met, which is every time after your dash there's a, like a countdown that has to expire before you can regain your dash. So right here you'll see me the dash of the ledge, and even though after the dash I am still grounded, for when you know I leave the ground, I won't have my dash in the air because the cooldown hasn't expired, you know, when I first hit the ground. So the reason why that is useful is because we can use that to do a dash cancel but still have the dash. So basically if you do a dash and then jump very late, basically you jump after the cooldown has expired, you you know the two conditions have been met, right? You've been grounded and the dash like the dash cooldown has already expired, but you'll still do a dash cancel, so that way you can do dash cancels and hyper dashes while still having a dash in the air. So right there I jumped late, so this is normal dash cancel, and there earlier I jumped late and I had my dash in the air, like that. You can do the same thing with a hyper dash. And this is why the wave dash is sometimes useful, is because the cooldown expires in the air, so once you, when you first hit the ground, it's already expired. So the wave dash isn't necessarily better than a hyper dash. You can still have a hyper dash with a dash in the air, as I showed up earlier. But with the wave dash it's easier, because the cooldown has expired in the air already. So the next thing I'd like to get into is a dash boosted wall jump, or whatever you want to call it. We don't have quite the terminology for it yet. But essentially it's the same as a dash cancel, but on a wall. So instead of, you know, dashing on the ground and then jumping, you dash upwards into a wall and then dash off the wall. And you see right there? That way you gain way more distance and you also gain more height. And that is useful in a bunch of places. So I'll do it again. Once again, it's basically the exact same thing as a dash cancel, just on a wall. So the last thing I'd like to get into is neutral wall jumps. Basically, if you do a wall jump without holding any direction, you will gain less distance from that wall jump. So this is a normal one, and then this is a neutral one. So if you do repetitive neutral wall jumps, you can actually climb the wall without using any stamina at all. So just look at my controls in the bottom left. Oops. There you go. So you see me do a wall jump without holding any direction, and then instantly after the wall jump, I hold towards the wall again, and then repeat that motion over and over again. And that allows you to climb a wall without using any stamina, as I said. So it's not as useful as the other attacks, but it still has its uses. For instance, in Chapter 6, there's a decently big skip with it. And then, for the last part, there's two things that many people might know about, but the fastest way to climb a wall is by doing repetitive jumps on it, but it also costs the most stamina. And then one more thing is, there's a fast fall in the game, so this is a normal fall, and if you hold down during a fall, you will actually fall faster. So the reason why all of that is useful is dash cancels and hyper dashes are just faster than normal walking or repetitive dashes on the ground and 
You can also clear certain gaps and do certain tricks with it that you wouldn't be able to do normally. It's the same for the water, basically. There's certain there's parts of screens you can skip with it and do certain tricks. Uh, the neutral wall jump is not nearly as useful, but there's a few cases where it might come in handy. And there's one pretty big skip in Chapter 6 that it, where it's used. So as a summary here are all the tricks again. So dash cancel, hyper dash, and then both the things with a dash in the air. Uh, the wave dash thing. And then the boosted wall jump. And neutral jumps. Alright, that about does it. Thanks for watching.